Oh, today certainly feels like an early spring day more than winter and our warm weather overall means the landscape is going to be a little off schedule. WCCO's Jeff Wagner explains what that means for trees and maple syrup season. Sunshine and blue skies can breathe life into the dead of winter, but it's the warmth in particular that's doing most of the work. These warmer unseasonal swings in temperature that we're experiencing are going to be the biggest trigger for waking up some of our trees from their winter dormancy. Brandon Miller is a horticulture professor. He says the spring like temps could lead some trees to start budding weeks earlier than expected, which is fine so long as the above average warmth holds steady. If we get low temperatures, if we drop back down into what we would normally expect for this season uh, or for this time of year, rather, after trees have started to wake up, you might see some damage to the tree. As trees warm and wake up, sap rises inside. That's why March is often maple syrup season, but this year it could be February. If you see a long range forecast that's warm, I'd be out there tapping those trees and making a little syrup. Peter Roth has been farming the sugary breakfast staple in Wisconsin for decades and says not to be surprised if the time to tap maple trees is also shorter than usual. But in the woods, there's not much frost. The trees will warm up a little quicker that way. It won't prolong the season where a little frost helps pro prolong. It keeps the snow base. Most trees, like the Minnesotans strolling among them, are hardy. They can handle an unusually warm winter here and there. A pattern of seasons like this one, however, would be concerning. If this becomes a routine trend, then I think that could be a problem. Jeff Wagner, WCCO News. If you were planning to prune your trees in late winter, experts suggest doing it now instead. However, if your trees are, trees are already producing sap, pruning would actually hurt the tree at this stage.